right guys, so here's my desk area and the goal today is to create a more minimalistic desk area. So you can focus at the task at hand rather than the little distractions that may have gathered around your desk, whether it's on the surface or inside the drawers. Let's start with removing everything from the surface. Well, except the computer, we'll leave that, but we'll remove everything else and that way we can wipe it down and make sure it's nice and clean and dust free so we have a fresh start. done wiping down the surface I'll start putting each item back that I know absolutely belongs up here and it doesn't take away from my actual task and being able to focus and have a clear mind while I'm working so that would definitely be my lamp I like to have that up here so my task lighting which is this Okay, we'll just give that a little bit of a wipe down also. So if you're curious, um, the task lighting and the desk are both from Costco. So right now we're only focused on putting back the absolute essentials for work. All right, so this is the basics. We've got the keyboard, computer, mouse, mouse pad, and the task light. We're just gonna leave the surface really clean, but you know what? Let me go and grab the items that I had up here before. I'll just set them across the front and you can really see how much was actually up here when it's all gathered together. So quite a difference once you separate the essentials from the non-essentials. So I have like a little crystal here. Of course, I love crystals and they do make me feel really good, but this can go in a different place. It doesn't have to actually be on my desk for me to be able to enjoy it. Um, so like something like that, I'm going to go ahead and remove. Um, this was a little DIY project. It's just a little marble kind of stand or tray. That is another item that doesn't have to be right at my desk and I can enjoy it from elsewhere. Um, these boxes actually housed uh, like cords. Like I have an extra pair of headphones in here, which I already have a pair of headphones in my drawer. So I don't need two at my desk, right? Um, these are like little remotes. They go to, uh, well, I guess a plug-in that we have here in the living room, but we actually don't have any lights hooked up to it anymore. Anymore, so I don't need to have those sitting there and then like a little I don't know a little plug-in like a little USB plug-in so in here yes okay once again we have cords so we have a backup phone charging cord both Michael and I already have phone chargers you know plugged in in our room um, so I don't need to have that one sitting here as well as a backup USB I already have a USB in my drawer here and then this one I do need this because this goes with this guy over here which is how I do my voiceovers for videos um, so those I need to keep together so this can actually get put away it doesn't have to be out here 24 7 on my desk so basically I had this set of boxes up here taking up that amount of space that did not have any essentials in it that I actually needed it was all basically backups for other cords and items so that one we definitely don't need up there anymore Here's another item that I've had out on my desk sitting there 24 seven, but I rarely even use it. And that is a stapler. Yeah, it's not too often that I need to use a stapler. So I don't really need to have it, you know, sitting up there all the time having to look at it. So we already decided we're moving these out of here. I have a little section of papers here that I saved to kind of share with you guys. I just want to go over three things with you. And that is, um, I remember several months ago when I originally did my first uh, desk tour and I kind of showed you guys, you know, how everything was set up and inside the drawers and everything. Um, someone had asked, you know, where's all your bills? Like, where's all the paper, paperwork and stuff? Um, I don't have a lot of paperwork. I actually hate paperwork, like with a passion. So if I don't have to absolutely keep it, like say for taxes, you know, tax purposes or whatever at the end of the year, then I I don't I throw it away I shred it I get rid of it like as fast as possible like as fast as it comes into the house out it goes again I can't stand paperwork so we went paperless with bills and so that way we just get like email notifications when a bill is due and we pay it online so that way we don't have to have like the actual hard copy paper bills like sitting around or gathering dust or anything here this is actually the only bill that I still get in the mail and this is our water bill and so I just want to share that tip with you guys too definitely go paperless if you can with any of your bills 
skills. And mail is something else that I want to mention to you guys because sometimes mail can build up at the desk area and maybe it's like coupons or something like this. This is from American Eagle. It got sent to me in the mail and I like for a split second I stopped and I looked at it and I had this little like this little bit of excitement with it and I thought oh maybe I should go look because it's got coupons in here. So it was like I don't know 20% off in any item of your choice or something. I thought oh well maybe I should go look and see if there's something in there that I need. And then I realized well wait a second if I actually needed it I would already know about that right? So you don't actually have to go into the store and go find what you need. You would already know if you needed it or not, right? So that's something to kind of keep an eye on is not saving this kind of stuff. It will only cause you to go out go shop and go buy, which means bringing in more stuff back into the house. So you know what I do with any of these flyers or little coupons or anything? They go in the trash and that's where they stay. And same goes for emails too. So I know I've mentioned this before, but pretty much like every single day, these companies, you know, brands are sending out emails like of all their promotions and sales and everything going on. So it's a good idea to just unsubscribe from those emails and then you don't have to like clear them away every single day. So yeah, try doing an email detox and it kind of get rid of any of those emails that are constantly bombarding you with buy our stuff, buy our stuff, you know? Um, it can really help a lot not seeing all the promos and sales going on for stuff that you don't need, right? All right, let's get back to it. We are working on the drawer. I just have one big main drawer here, so let's go and get started on that. I have a notebook under here with my one pin, and then in here is a little collection of business cards that I need to go through. I ended up just putting them all into here so I could remember to sort through them so they'd all be in one place because I ended up having like, you know, random business cards like in my purse and like in my room and out on the coffee table. So that is what is in there. So I will go through that and sort those out. The section I find most disturbing is actually this container here. And I put this container in here as an organizer to help, you know, keep, keep my desk area nice and clean inside here and keep it all organized. And what I realized was that once I had this in here, all of a sudden little things started gathering into it that never were in here before. So it actually didn't really help me organize better in here. It actually ended up like attracting more clutter into my desk that I don't need. So I'm definitely gonna be removing this. So these are my headphones. I'm of course gonna be needing those. So I will leave those in here. So these little binder clips, they all came in a pack at TJ Maxx and I thought they were really cute at the time of purchasing them. I've had them for a long time and I realized that I don't actually use them very often. I think I've used them a total of like maybe twice. So these were a good example of something that I picked up because I thought it was super cute and I thought it would be, you know, make my desk area more enjoyable and it turned out it did the exact opposite. But just the clutter of looking at them in there made me feel more overwhelmed when I would sit down to work. Just fully open my drawer, I felt overwhelmed before I even got working for the day. Um, so these definitely have got to go. I had these little hooks also, but I'm just gonna put them in here because I can't see a use for them in the near future. And if I ever need them again, well, you know, they're like a dollar at the hardware store. So not worried about keeping those. Um, these are actually for my work, but they are in the wrong spot. So they're not actually supposed to be in here. Uh, these are just two bags of little crystals. And so I'm just gonna get, go ahead and take those out. I also have a necklace that seems in here. Okay, this was a sterling silver necklace that I was supposed to clean and it still has not been clean. I guess I dropped it in there and it fell to the bottom and I forgot all about it and never actually ended up cleaning it. So I will go ahead and clean that and put it away. And then there's a little pendant that goes with it, which is a little lotus, sterling silver lotus pendant. And then in the back here, I have a couple of cards, camera cards. So those are definitely usable. So I keep those in my camera bag though. And then we have a little memento from our last trip in Arizona. I love Sedona. Yes, I do love Sedona, but I don't need to keep the actual pin that says I love Sedona to prove it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I will just prove my love for Sedona by going back there and visiting again. Um, so there we go. There's the container, that whole container filling up all that space and none of it actually needed to be in there. So let's remove that. Here's another little uh, like tray that I thought was super cute. I guess I got that at TJ Maxx also. Um, I do think it's cute still, but the, the kind of um, design on it, it's a little too much for my eye, I've noticed, and I'd rather just have it more like simple. Like I'd rather look at a plain white surface than that pattern looking back at me when I open my drawer to sit down to work. And not to mention there wasn't even anything sitting in here, so this isn't even actually serving a purpose anymore in my desk. I think it was once upon a time, I think I had like a lip balm or something in there, but even then, 
again. Like that was an unnecessary thing to be sitting there. Um, on this side, I have some Sharpies. Um, this pin is actually almost out. Last time I tried to use it, it was almost dried. I don't know why I kept it. So remove that. Uh, a couple of Sharpies. Uh, we actually have a different place where we keep, like my Michael has some of his markers and stuff. So I'll probably just combine them. So if you have like items that you find end up getting spread out, it's okay to go ahead and like gather them back together and just keep them consolidated. So I'll go ahead and consolidate those with the others. Here's a really cute single hole punch and I like that it's white. It matches quite nicely, but the fact is I hardly ever use this. Um, I only use it for like certain DIY projects, so it's something I can still keep, but this just happens to be the wrong place for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be leaving like my camera chargers, like the battery chargers, I have two of them. Uh, you know, the one is charging right now, and then that goes with the backup battery, Canon battery that I have. Um, but this doesn't need to stay in here. This can actually go back into my camera bag. I think I just ended up throwing it in there because I don't know, I didn't want to go like walk 10 feet to my room to put it away properly. I have no idea. So I'll just go ahead and put that away where it actually goes. And then here I have a USB cord. So let me just set that there for now. Also in this section, I have a ruler, which I only use this for DIYs as well as my scissors. And I don't keep my DIY project items in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out because I almost never reach for these other than doing a project. I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything, clean the drawer, and then we'll put these items back in here. So once everything's been cleared out and the drawer's been wiped down, then you can put everything back in that are essentials for you and your job. So whatever you need at your desk and you want to focus on the essentials, of course, not, you know, things that look cute, right? This is going to look different for everyone, but I'm going to go ahead and put back the items that I find essential to my everyday work habits. Okay guys, my desk drawer is done. This is everything that I need to do my job and none of what I don't. So after you get done organizing your drawer, then hopefully you can get to a place where you feel like, okay, this is everything that I need to do a job well with a clear mind, intentional purpose, and to really be efficient at your work when you sit down to do it. Um, so you don't have any distractions taken away from the work that you actually want to do. And then any little junk stuff that you have that was in your drawer, you can always donate that or something, you know. And if you're cleaning up your desk and you come across maybe an item that's important that you can't really get rid of but it's not necessarily important to have at your desk like it's not you know part of your everyday work and it's not essential to that you might find that you can just store it in another place so you can still keep your desk very clean and organized without having to have absolutely everything packed into it you know that you may need one day so for me I have all these business cards in here so I'm gonna go ahead and go through these right now and just sort through which ones I actually need and which ones I don't so I sorted the business cards all of these I don't need to keep and then these I'll just go ahead and put their info in my phone and I won't need to keep the hard copies. All right guys, so I think our minimalist desk makeover went well. It's got everything that I need and none of what I don't, which is exactly how it should be for your desk, right? You wanna have that clear mind when you sit down to work. You don't wanna have other stuff coming in and kind of distracting you. And you know, the clutter can really take a lot of energy out of you. And when you get up in the morning to work, you wanna have a nice clear mind and be able to focus on what you're trying to accomplish for the day. And I think it helps you be more efficient and in turn that helps you be more time efficient and you're able to focus better. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. All right guys, have a good day. Bye